Hello, Mark Crossroad here. We've got Ping i15s. We're going to match them up with the TaylorMade CB. Uh, two similar kind of irons, maybe aimed at similar golfers, both slightly better players who want a little bit of um, help around the outside because there is some peripheral weighting in both of these clubs. Uh, medium soles on both of these, medium top lines. Let's give them a compare, get out on the range and show you exactly my thoughts on who might go for these two clubs. Um, post a comment always if you like the video, don't be afraid to subscribe, let's get on the range, let's take them out. So here we go, we're outside with the Ping i15 hitting up, up against the TaylorMade CB. Now look, both of these clubs, as I said, are kind of aimed at golfers who want to do better, they're aimed at golfers who want a little bit of help but want to do a lot of the work themselves. Um, look, putting them both down by the ball, it's hard to choose which one's prettier. They're both offering kind of different levels of appearance. Both certainly not the most classic looking of this Ilka club that you can buy. Taylor made with its chrome finish I think will appeal for more on looks. It looks much more like a regular golf club where Ping with its classic um, ping looks of a matte finish obviously doesn't appeal to everyone. Now the size of the head though in the ping is much prettier where the tailor made to me always feels quite long. User friendliness of both of these clubs arguably the CB offers a fraction more help than the i15 but a fraction. If you're good enough for the i15 CB and vice versa both of these will fall into a bracket that you can control. Let's give them a hit see how they feel. So let's start with the tailor made CB. So the chrome finish is nice both of these finish feature a little bit of offset, but um, the head does feel a bit long for me on the uh, tailor-made Tor Preferred range. Let's give this a hit, see what it feels like. Feels good. Feels relatively strong. It feels like I could launch this up in the air, but it's certainly not overly high. It's going a relatively true flight. For my kind of medium to fast club head speed, this club does launch quite nicely. Let's give it another hit. It's a good club. It makes quite a noise off the face. It's certainly louder than your Forge kind of bracket club. Feels good to CB. Plenty of weight there to help you get some launch. So if it does feel nice, let's compare this up then to the i15. Now I like Ping's look. I like the matte finish. I've used Ping's in the past, so it's something that doesn't scare me. I like the size of the head. Much squatter, prettier head shape. Top line relatively the same to the CB. So let's give this one a hit, see how it feels. feels good again it feels a truish launch what I put in pretty much comes out I think if you swing the club superbly fast both of these clubs might launch a fraction high but if you're a medium to fast swinger which is where I'd put myself swing a six iron around 85 to 87 miles an hour um, these do feel like they're going to launch at a nice height certainly not too high let's give it another hit so both feel as solid as each other. For me, I think the ping would slightly pick it because I like ping. I like the look. I've used them before, but not saying I don't like the tailor made. Both of them, it's hard to pick which one's best. If you're trying these two clubs, guys, let me know which one you prefer and why. Are you a ping guy or tailor made guy? Both of them do perform well, and they're certainly going to help a middle range handicap and maybe 16s wanting to get down into single figures. It's that kind of club for me. Good clubs. Let me know what you think. Post a comment, and thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.